Pull in to the Gulf of Mexico. Don't touch that remote. Buckle your seatbelt and settle in for some true southern outdoor adventure right here in Louisiana. Welcome to another Canaan Outdoor Show. We have as our guest, he's not a guest, it's Joey Kovac. Joey uh, was good enough to help us on the show. Joey, I appreciate you coming on the show today. Well, thanks for having me, Bob. Uh, Joey, you know, we try and get different people, and Joey was good enough that uh, he's offered to, to come on the show for a few months here and do some back laying, some bass fishing, and hopefully give some tips to our youngsters on how to catch fish. Well, we can just get them to start biting a little bit, by let the weather warm up. Uh, yeah. I hope I can do that, too, yeah. you know, That's get the fish to start biting. And uh, Skip, uh, Skip's been doing a lot of fishing lately. Skip is Joey's brother. Yeah, Skip does a lot of fishing. He has a little bit more time than I do, you know, yeah. and uh, he, he stays on top of them pretty good. Right. Now, Joey, let me ask you something. Uh, Berkeley, uh, Berkeley sent us some gifts to give away, mm -hmm. and I'm fixing to show this line that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to give this to... Some of the people that sent in their pictures. That's a nice, that's nice, Barn. Isn't it, though? Good line. It's a real good line. It's at Berkeley Trilene XL. Good stuff. And uh, we appreciate Berkeley sending that. And also, we have a number of uh, Berkeley power baits that, yeah. they, that they did send us. And uh, I think the key to this, this, the thing about this power worm is that when the fish pick it up, they don't want to let it go. Right. It's like they, they hold on to it a lot longer, and that's, that's what makes this worm one of the better worms out there, you know? Right. And we appreciate Berkeley, and of course, Berkeley is one of our new sponsors, so uh, we're going to be using a lot of Berkeley products. They make worms, they make jigs, they make just lime, they lime. make everything. They yeah. make a lot of things, so we want to remind all of our viewers to try and support the sponsors that help us here with the show. Let's go on and, and show our viewers some pictures first, Joy, this week. And our first picture we have is a picture of George Davis. Mm -hmm with three bass that he recently caught around Cod Springs. Yeah, those are nice fish. Those really are. That right. must be about a five pound bass, it looks like. Yeah, I tell you what, I think one of them went five something, mm -hmm. and then, then one of them was about four something, and then we have a little bit smaller one. So those are pretty. Aren't they though? Yeah. Okay, and then our next picture we have here is also a picture of George Davis um, with a number of, uh, of bass that him and his wife called Peanut. That's a nice catch. Yeah, Peanut uh, plays tennis with Becky a lot. I see. And uh, she gets to go out every once in a while. Now, Peanut's not the dog now. Oh, well, thanks for clarifying that. Right. <laughs> I want to let our viewers know that. Uh, and uh, George and Peanut fish together quite a bit, mm -hmm. and they go out, and uh, they get caught, made a real nice catch on this day. And it did real good. Real good. It sure did. And we want to appreciate George sending those pictures in. Our next picture here, um, Joey, is uh, a unique picture. It's a picture of Mr. Gene Fisher. Gene lives right up here in Washington, mm -hmm. uh, right above Washington in that, in that Grand Prairie area. Mm -hmm. And he planted, he planted some banana trees. Wow. And every year he goes out in his backyard and harvests all these bananas. And I saw that picture and I said, well, you know, people back here don't think that... Um, we have bananas. We have bananas. And I said, well, i got to show that on the show. It's not a fish, but it's a banana. <laughs> well, I have, I've never seen, well, I take that back. Mr. LCA Bear has a, a banana tree, and uh, I don't, I've never seen quite that many on hers, but she makes a uh -huh. few. Right. So that's the only two I've ever seen. Really? It's pretty rare down here. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, um, Gene can't win the fish of the week this week because he has bananas. Banana of the week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, but George Dean is going to go ahead and win, and um, we'll go ahead and send... Uh, three packs of power uh, bait to him. Great. And also some line. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we appreciate Berkeley being with us. And every week we're going to be starting to give away uh, bait mm -hmm. to the kids that all, you know, whoever sends in a picture of the week. Right. And we have a box full of baits so we want to give them away. We need pictures. That's right. We need a lot of pictures. Yeah. Uh, Joy, I recently just got back uh, right here to uh, rabbit season, mm -hmm. and I went fit, I went on a rabbit hunt with Chris Burzai, Albert Seaman, uh, Harvey Darbone, mm -hmm. um, and Roger Connor down at Gum Cove, down in the marsh. Right. And uh, we killed some rabbits. Uh, Chris wrote an article on it mm -hmm. in the Data World. We killed some rabbits, but they, they have a big, big competition of coyotes this year. Wow. Giving those rabbits a hard time. I mean, a hard time, you know. And, yeah. Uh, you know, one place where they, uh, uh, I think five or six of them had gone the year before and all limited out. I mean, yeah. I'm talking about killing 
uh, 45, 50, 70 rabbits. Wow. You know? And that's those big moss rabbits. That's those great big ones. Yeah. And uh, we went to two different spots, didn't do any good, but then we, at the last spot we did real well. So we got some footage down there, and um, let's go on down to Gump Cool and we'll come on back. Sounds good. All right. Nice and cool this morning. Just right. Just right. This is perfect. This is how I like it. Just like that. Just shot a rabbit, and uh, he's down in the water, right there. Roger, can you come get him? Yeah, I couldn't uh, do the camera. Jumped again. He's alive, Roger. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, he's a nice one, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a big rabbit, Roger. Yeah, he is. You some help? Uh-uh, I got him. Baby bank's kind of steep there, yeah. bro. Well, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. Nice big lot pack. Second rabbit. 
But uh, I think when we get up there, a little bit farther, Roger says. We get better? Yeah, that's what he says. Hopefully, we'll get some good runs, you know? Yeah. Where the dogs will uh, pack up, and we can start hearing a lot of music, you know? That's beautiful, bro. Yeah? That's the headshot. Yeah, that's good, man. That's what Alvin says, I gotta shoot him in the head. <laughs> Congratulations. Bro. Look, I got two now. Good turn of That's right. again. We got one over here. They got some in here, Roger. Yeah. Hey, Robert, just in Coming back. I just went to 
dogs come on. No, look, a little tree right in front of me. If I had my gun, I'd have killed him. I believe all of missed that rabbit. Oh, yeah, he missed that one. What happened? He's right there in front of that bush. I, I, I saw him. You gotta leave him about two feet. I believe Albert got down. Albert, you got him? Albert, you got him, huh? Joey, how'd you like that rabbit? That was a heck of a hunt, Bob. I really enjoyed seeing that. It is too. Yeah. Uh, Joey, I also have a calf here that uh, a guy from the St. Leonard Bank, mm -hmm. Alan Thomas. Mm -hmm. You know Alan? Mm -hmm. And Kenny Bazron? Right. Well, this week, uh, Joey's uh, 
not George David, but Gene Fisher. Yeah. That's in the bananas. Right. He's going to get this hat for the same Andrew Bank. Well, great. So we appreciate Alan and Robert and uh, Kenny over there at the St. Andrew Bank for uh, sending some caps also to give away. That's great. So, Joey, uh, what else is going on? Uh, the fishing is going to start improving? It's just picking up. It's that time of the year, yeah. you know. Uh, fish are spawning or trying to spawn, and, and it's all water temperature now. You know, that's the key when the, when the water temperature gets to that right uh, it's up in the mid-50s to so upper 50s, the fish really start biting and getting ready to spawn. Yeah. And that's really one of the easiest times of the year. To, uh, so right now, everybody should be kind of getting their equipment ready and, right. and, and taking care of their boats. And, yeah. you know, they've been sitting up yeah. all winter. Like March and April is the time uh, that people, for people really to get out there and, and do their fishing before it gets too hot. That's right. It's one of the most pleasant times to fish as far as the weather goes. And it's also one of the easiest times to catch fish. Right. Because they're up in shallow water and they're feeding because they're, they're spawning. And uh, it's a good time to fish. Joey, thank you for coming on the show. Well, I enjoyed it, Brian. Thanks right. for having me. And uh, we want to remind all our viewers that once you do go out there fishing, make sure you wear your life jackets and be courteous to the other fishermen. And we'll see you uh, next weekend. Sounds great. We hope everyone has enjoyed this week's edition of the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Remember, whether you're on the water or in the woods, the role you play as a sportsman is how others see it. We hope everyone's next outdoor adventure is a good one. And don't forget, if you kill or catch something, that's a bonus. Until next week, I'm David McKean, Paul Byron Briggs, and the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Keep on camping. Welcome to the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Stay tuned as the Acadiana Outdoor Team keeps you up to date in the outdoor world. From hunting the flooded timber for miles in North Louisiana, to fishing for bull reds in the Gulf of Mexico. Don't touch that remote, buckle your seatbelt, and settle in for some true southern outdoor adventures right here in Louisiana. Where we at? Uh, Henderson. Alright. And who are we fishing with? It's me and you and Joey and Manny and his grandson and Mars and um, Sherman Fontenot. Sherman Fontenot. Sherman from Bill Platt. Isn't he a house builder or something? Sure is. There's Mr. Manny over there. Brian, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you taking me with you today. It's been a long time since we've been together. It's you true, know. isn't it? It's a shame you can't fish anymore. Joy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> what do you want to do? All right, now, Joy, also we have a, uh, we have a Coleman stove. Yeah, we got everything to cook with. Got everything to cook with. Pot, grease. Pot, grease, everything. All we got to do now is catch some fish, Brian, so we can cook. Sure. All right, let's go back. Let me back in. Right? Chairman, you ready?
Joy, let's do that. So burn, man. How is it? Oh, he's a medium. You know, good, good eating size, though. That's a nice fish, huh? You want to grease him? Yeah, we're going to grease him. He's pretty, huh? Uh -huh. Pretty color. It is. Look at that sun, boy. It's a nice looking fish. I'm snapper fishing. Oh, you fishing for red snapper? Yeah. <laughs> Bottom fishing. And you're not using a car, huh? No. So what you're doing is tight lining? Yep. And Joey, you tight lining? Yeah. Got a little smaller jig uh, on the Nicky shot. I'm snapper fishing. And I'm fishing with a cork. Let me move on back here. Hey, Joey. Uh, How about you, Charlie? No? Let's move on. Catch another one like that. That's another one, Nick. You want to keep him? Oh. You got him, Nick. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, now. Y'all bring him in here as fast as uh, one, two, three. All right. Let's see what you got in there, Nick. That's a good little fish, huh? It's not bad. Yeah. Joe, you got one, too. Yeah. yeah. Hold him up to the sun. I can see every bone in his body. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's 10, 10, 10. 10, 10. <laughs> hey, Nick, are you tight lining them? Yeah. That was only about three feet deep. Did you notice that? Yeah, I don't think you can that one really. Nice fish, Brian. That's a nice fish, huh? That's a nice fish. Oh, Good yeah. Good deal, Brian. He's not a monster. He's not a monster, but that's going to fry, huh? That's a good one. Good shot, Nick. Good one, Yeah, let's catch some more. All right. Yeah, that's a good one, Joe. Yeah, he's not bad. Yeah. Let's put him in the box, see if we can get another one. All right. 
pretty good one, man. Alright, Joe. What you think, man? Well, get him in here. Huh? He's not a monster, but he's a... He's a fish. A no one Yeah, got another small one. You got your little honey hole? Yeah, I'm catching, I'm catching on a little jig, uh, Joey. Is that, is that one of my little jigs? That's a little jig. Uh, that's a small size compared to the others, you know? That's what we've been catching, huh? Yeah. You know what, though? We're going to have enough to eat. I believe we will. Keep up this pace, we'll have more than enough. What you think, Nick? I like it. You like it? I like it. Let's All get right. another one, boy. That's a good fish, Nick. Uh, Come here, baby. That's a good fish, Nick. How you like that one? Boy, that's a nice one, huh? Yeah. That's kind we need, Nick. That's kind we need about, what, 20 or 30 of them? Two, two, three dozen like that, we have yeah. something. Well, that's a good fish, Nick. Thank you, Bob. All right, buddy. I did. Oh, that's a good one, Nick. Huh. Well, I was trying to pick Joey's up off the, off the floor. Put one in the ice chest. And I got two on the floor. You got room for them in there, Nick? Yeah. Nick, it looks like when you find one, you find two, huh? Yeah, I mean, what did he look like, Bob? He took it down? I tell you what, when Nicky was uh, putting that fish in the box, his, his cork was gone. Let it sit. Blink your eyes. There's got to be another one in there. Thank you. Boy, that's a good one there. Good one, Nick. That's a nice sack right there, huh? Thank you, Joe. Look in there. That's a good fish. Good one, Nick. Thank y'all. Well, you're a good fisherman. You know that? He's the best. He's the best. He's the king. <laughs> He's the sackling king. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, it's a good fish, Nick. Nick, you got enough to eat? Oh, yeah. You got enough now. You going to fry him up on that all-field platform? Yeah. I tell you what, those little jigs hook them right in the top of the mouth. Yeah. I don't understand. You did, but yeah, I got it. Nice one? He's like a, that's a brown. Hey, what? That's a big old brown. Big old bull brown. Good brown, boy. We'll take those. We're going to take those. You know we ain't caught many brown today, Joe. I know that. Well, he swallowed that thing. He did. That's a nice little brown, huh? Let's catch another one. All right. Mm -hmm. Yo, we're just moving around from tree top to tree top right now. That's about yeah. it. We were just talking about how those sackers hit that cork, you know, when they hit that bait, how they take it down. They, uh -huh. stay, they stay after a, a brim will pack it. A brim will kind of pack it like that, but I was telling Nicky, one day I was down in Bull Bayou, and uh, I threw my cork out and it started shaking like that, and I told my brother, I said, that's, a, that's a brim. I picked up, I had a sack of two pounds, three ounces, and we filled an ice chest that day. And every time you get a bite, your cork will just kind of... Is that right? ...do a dance on top of the water. The, no. thing, the thing about that sackle is it's, it's going to stay after it. It's not going to give up. Look at that good old leg. Mm -hmm. close to this one. Mm -hmm. catch it on the next roundabout. All right. Hey, Bond, I was telling Joe a minute ago, I just didn't take a whip and didn't have to back a boat up to get someone unhung. Oh, really? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you on? You hung? Uh -huh. Dang, Brian, we were just talking about that. Yeah. Huh, Joey? Yeah, we First time. Okay. Well, you're not going to do it again? Nope. Okay. Hang up for the day. Hang up for the day. Then you let it go. We're going to get a ham sandwich. Actually, we're going to clean up fish. Actually, we're going to talk them into not frying fish today. Oh, really? Yeah, because the tackle they started hitting in the major seas here is between 12 and 3. No, it's between 2.30 and 4.30. No, Joey said 12 and 3. No. He's wrong. Right. What time is it now? What time is the uh, feeding period? Between 1.30 and 4.30. I thought it was 2.30 and 4.30. Uh, no? No, I don't think so. We're we'll going to try and catch a few more. We're going to fry. We're going to fry. We're going to grease them. What? Grease them? Grease them. Bring your car. We're going to about 40. I got 40? Yes. Time with the boys. 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 Time with the boys
Oh, did they got eyes to keep them? friends at Luana, huh, Bob? Yeah, we're using that Luana cooking oil right out here on the Bayou Bank. All right, Byron, put it in there. How much you put? Put it about half full. That's enough? Yeah. All right. You want to set it, uh, Luana? Uh, you want to set it right here? Now, Byron, do you prefer Luana over any other cooking oil? Whatever you say, Nick, that's what I do. We've always used Luana, hadn't we? Right. Well, and we are out in Henderson. We're on, a, we're on an all platform out at Henderson cooking today. Beautiful, huh, Bob? Beautiful. Hey, you finally got him on his knees. I got him on his knees now. Byron, <laughs> you have to do this in order to enjoy a tackle it. Cut him on the side so the seasoning is going in? You gotta cut him on the side so the seasoning is going in. Mm -hmm. How about it, Mr. Manny? He's correct. But he's cutting them the wrong way. <laughs> I can't, this knife is dull. Yeah. That's why I'm cutting them her. Cut like that. I prefer to cut them back. Okay, you got it. But this <laughs> knife is dull. But I can't light what, shine. Manny. I'm not quite sure I know how you did it. Why don't you show me how to do it properly? <laughs> You're doing a great job. What you doing, Nick? I'm peeling a potato. Chairman, you peeling potatoes too? Oh, yeah. I'm making some home, homemade french fries. Homemade french fries. Homemade, homemade. Joey, how you coming down there? Doing good, Bob. Charlie? You doing all right? Yeah. Charlie, where you go to school? Northwest. You're awesome, man? Yeah. All right. Okay, with those french fries are starting to cook, Mark. Do those look good? A little bit It's coming. They look good, huh? I want to show you all the little tricks of those french fries. All right. Okay, Sam. After you put your salt, you add this to it. Uh huh. It gives it a little, a little kick to it. Oh really? Just a little bit. Yeah. Tell me, you did the flat. Oh yeah, bill flat. Bill flat, leave me out. Watch me with those French fries. Those fish are even gonna be better though. You know that? Oh yeah, it'll, it'll all be good. Fresh like that. Fresh. Slept in the, in the basin last night. Slept in the basin last night. Your potatoes did too. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, we gotta make sure none of those fish are still dropping while we put them before we put them in the pot. I tell you what, Barney, that fresh. It's fresh. We got all kinds of people fishing over here. Fox? No, not yet. Yeah. I don't wanna. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, she's coming on the Kevin Bridge and they drive the driver to the head of the show that I met. Hey, Ron. 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 Because we're not going to leave any behind. And we're gonna not take, at all. We're going to take some with us. It's always going to bring a trash bag whenever you come out and cook the fish. Well, yeah, people ought to not let them. 
They don't do it in the yard. You drink these. You put out one bowl and maybe put out one every time. Uh huh. Five hooks per line. Hundred to a yeah. And you don't catch no fish. Boy, it sure looks good, Chairman. Thank you. You want one? I'll take them. Where are they? I've been coming by. This is good. This is real good. Are they seasoned enough to save our seasoning? Are you taking the seasoning on it? I'm getting ready to try some. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Bro. Okay, this one's from Nine Hill Town over here. This is a nice taco day over here. That's it's a nice lot of grease over here. Well, thank you, Sean. Okay, man. Where'd you play that? I really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm gonna go down on it right now. <laughs> He's two over here for Mark Weinstein. <laughs> He's a little bit bigger than Manny. He needs two of them. Yeah, he needs these two sacks oh, over here. Yeah. Watching my way, <laughs> That's besides the four sandwiches he ate earlier this morning. <laughs> well, those are pretty, aren't they? Who's going to produce this, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what you're supposed to do on a bayou bank, right there. This, this, this looks delicious. You it's on my diet. That's right on your diet? Yeah. Delicious. Tell you what, now that, that is perfect. Chairman Fontenot is a real chef. One of the best. He's, he's good, huh? He's the best. What is from Bill Pratt? That's why. That's right. Anybody from Bill Pratt can cook fish. Delicious. Look at that. Golden brown. Luana, fine oil. Fine oil, I mean. Right. Um, him. And we uh we're gonna go ahead and hey, eat the fish, right. we'll go back and catch some more this afternoon. You're right. So Nick, I'm gonna let you close this week. We enjoyed everybody being with us. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week on the great outdoors. Oh yeah. Can you get it? Got it. Oh, We'll see you. That's a nice sack right there. That's quite as big as that last one I caught, but he's a good one, Brian. That's a good sack right there. Talk about. We went and eat our fried fish, and uh, yeah, we're back here. We got almost a box full now. Back here, I believe we caught a dozen in about 30 minutes. Huh? Yeah, pretty close to it. Not a bad, not a bad deal. Not at all, huh? A good sack of it. Yeah, it's a bad day, Jimmy. You got a nice sack of land? Uh-huh. Good fish. Just what, about 20 minutes? Yeah, enjoy. Got a good one, Brian. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, huh? Nice sack of land. Sack of land? Nice sack of land. Hey, wait, it looks like a bass is almost so big. That's a good sack of land, huh? Oh, yeah. Big white sack of bond. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty sack there. Uh-huh. We'll take him, huh? Oh, we're going to take that one. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to show that one to Manny. Yeah. To Nikki. And Nikki. They wanted to go home. They might have missed out. I'll be there, did you? <laughs> you got room to put him? It's pretty cute, boy. Well, you tell me that pretty Can we cook some pretty ones? We did. I got some right here in the boat, Joey. Talk about, huh? Let me see if they're still there. There they are, right here in the boat. I enjoyed that. Well, I'm you full. You full? And I eat. You did? Cool. How did, it, did you eat your lemon? I ate two lemons. <laughs> I was over the limit. Come on. Yeah. Yep, they were good, huh? I'll tell you that. Hey, look at him go, boy. He's a nice little sack of land. Hmm, that ain't no giant, but that's a good sack of land. Yeah, that's a nice one. Huh. I think that's a keeper in, any, a keeper in anybody's book, huh? Yeah, I believe so. That's a nice fish, yeah, Joey. Huh. Huh. I don't know what it's here, but I don't know what the rest of them. I thought he's bigger than that. That's him? Oh, yeah, Joey, that's a nice fish, boy. Huh? The nice fish you hear at Henderson, huh? Henderson is the place, man. This place has got so many fish in it, it's unbelievable. It's true. 
Because you catch him with that little jig, too. A little bitty old jig. Yeah, hold that jig right there. That's that little jig we catch them on right there. That's it. That's about 164. That's a 30 second. 30 second. A little bit of the old number 8 hook. Uh-huh. That's a nice fish. Yeah, and you buddy. can see, you catch the small ones, you catch the big ones. Bye. That's a good fish, man. Yeah. See what that, Jordan? That's a good fish. Oh, these fish have really turned on. What they have, huh? That's, uh, That's a nice rock there. there. Yeah. This is one of the babies you look for, buddy. Can get him on in here? What you think, Brian? I think that's a nice fish, buddy. Wow. Real nice. That is choice, buddy. <laughs> I think I'm going to get down there and grab this, Brian. That's a nice rock right there, Jerry. He don't tear that. They go seeing, Brian. There ain't no flies on it. That's a good track right here, Joey. Hold it. Oh, yeah. He's not a giant before. He's pretty, huh? Well, he's tall, didn't he? He throw uh -huh. that jig flat on down. Go over there. That's a pretty track line. It is nice. And they pull out here at Henderson. They Delta. really pull. Of course, we got these little light fly rods we use. Huh? Yeah. Wow, that's nice fish in there, isn't it? Yeah, I'll tell you what. Man at Beltan, you sure miss a good fishing trip. Yep. And then Morris Weinstein, huh? That's right. And, uh, and Sherman Fondo from Bill Platt. That's right. We don't want to forget him. No, we don't want to forget Sherman. He's so proud of some good fish. Huh? He did. Uh, you want some fish, Joy? Huh? You want some fish? Some cooked fish? Yeah. Fine, I'm still full. You full? How about you? No, I'm full. Why don't you finish off those fish? Uh-uh. I'm, I'm thinking of catching another big old sack of legs. Oh, he's good. No. He's good. Yeah, he's, uh, I missed him three times, Brian. And I finally got him. Yeah. We don't, not a, we don't take him on in. Yeah, he's not a monster like you said, but he's gonna fry. He's gonna fry up real good. Yeah. Put him in there and see if we can get another one. All right. Ah. like that in the box. Right? Yeah, it's starting to grow, you know? Yeah. 30. Must have caught 50, 60 fish. Yeah. Not a bad day. Not Had a good time stopping fried fish. And uh, ate our belly full. Talk about. Good company. Yeah, some more than that. Pretty day. Boy, it's beautiful fish out here in the afternoon, ain't it, Joy? Yeah, it is, man. Well, we're fishing right now close to the interstate at Henderson. It's a little noisy right here, but uh, we're not far from the interstate at all. Well, you ready to head to the house? Ready to head to the house. Hope everybody enjoyed another show. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, let's go back to the studio. Sounds good. Oh, I'll go back home. We'll go home first. All right. We hope everyone has enjoyed this week's edition of the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Remember, whether you're on the water or in the woods, the role you play as a sportsman is how others see you. We hope everyone's next outdoor adventure is a good one. And don't forget, if you kill or catch something, that's a bonus. Until next week, I'm David McKean, Paul Byron Briggs, and the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Keep on camping, and we'll see you in the woods. Welcome to the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Stay tuned as the Acadiana Outdoors team keeps you up to date in the outdoor world. From hunting the flooded timber for mileage in North Louisiana to fishing for bull reds in the Gulf of Mexico. Don't touch that remote, buckle your seatbelt, and settle in for some true southern outdoor adventures right here in Louisiana. All right. Well, we're at Toby's. Country corner. Yeah. Got a nice place right here. Well, you really got a nice place. I tell you what's nice. Uh, Rain or shine, so you get the dish covered it, today. Yeah, and also, you know, uh, they have this deal here where you just come in and put your card in there. Fast pay. Fast pay. Then sometimes, Joey, I just put my card in, don't even have to pay. That's right. You don't have to go inside. No. Let me pay All right. This is, yeah. a, this is a lot of boats, y'all. Well, y'all, y'all, I'll put you in. Well, look, there's no waiting anyway. You just no. have to wait to put in.
We're going to try by that big cypress tree. You want to get this cypress tree? Get cypress tree. No, we had Henderson. We had Henderson the day, Byron. We're going to try and make us another day, uh, uh, Sackley show? Yeah. We're going to make the Sackley show. Uh, we can't get a few more, you know? Yeah. Caught pretty good yesterday. Well, I'm telling you, we did real well Caught yesterday. Caught some nice fish yesterday. Well, you got a lot of boats out here today, huh? It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. This guy said he launched 150 yesterday. Yeah. Somebody told me that at the public land they had 300. I can't believe. Yeah. We must have a thousand boats out here. At least a thousand. I'm, I'm sure. After we get out there, we're going to see what they have. Yeah. Look at that. Full of mice. Alright, we'll go 
go back to this stump. So I'm right by that stump, I make it? Stump down there. Stop to this down there. Just stop down to this line. Not a bad one, huh? No. Baby bull. A baby bull. That's a little one. Well, the circle hadn't turned it on yet, but we're catching the brim, huh? Yeah. It's a young bull. Young bull. I like your hat, Bob. Oh, you like my hat, Nick? Yeah. Huh? You want to wear it a little while? No. Where'd you get it? Got it from you. No. When you went to Jamaica. No. Thank <laughs> good. He's on the left. Yeah. He's on the left. Look at that, Nick. Watch it, Nick. He almost got out. I can't go down there and start grabbing those things. Man. I'm telling you. Look, you're going to have to start catching the fish now. You think you want to sit up here? No. no. You want to sit back in the back? No. I'm all right, right here. I'm ready. Yeah, and Nicky, yesterday... I'm seasick. Nicky, yesterday me and Joey were fishing, mm -hmm. and at the beginning of the show we showed you, mm -hmm. and later on during the show, Joey said we'd put you up on one of them rigs. <laughs> well, I stayed there all afternoon while y'all caught those fish. Uh-huh. this morning. And y'all picked me up this morning. <laughs> That's how you got it back in the boat? That's how I got back in the boat. <laughs> but now you notice I brought clean clothes? Uh-huh. Actually, today's another day. Listen, you know, a while ago I was, we were talking about the little jiggly ears. Right. And now I want to talk to you about the, the way to catch these, uh, these sackle that we're doing. Of course, the rods we're using. Well, let's not leave out old buddy Buck, okay? This uh -huh. is Buck's graphite jig pole. Uh -huh. My old friend over in Mississippi. And you know, Buck got that show we sent him a year ago. He said that was the most original Sackle show he's ever seen. Is that right? So we want to let Buck know we still using his rod yeah. and his reels that he sent us with him. And uh, I tell you what, this is a 10 foot, huh, Byron? Right. I use the 11 foot. Yeah. And Nicky, you know, uh, we use six pound test line. Six pound test. And we got a flip cork there. Right. Now you tight lining them right now. I'm tight lining them, but this, I tell you what, if Buck knows where we can get some of these. Yeah. We would like them. And they come with a string in between them. Come I mean, with a string to thread that line up. Right. There's no metal on this one at all. And then we're using that little light one thirty second jig that Joey makes. Right. And that's it. But you know, I'm gonna tell you something, Nicky. The real the real importance of fishing uh faculty. Uh oh, uh -oh we got some got one. Uh oh, where is it? Yeah. yeah, you want to lip him? No. Should have lipped him. Should have lipped him. Another one. You should have lipped him, man. Right. Nicky, we got rudely interrupted here by a big sack of Well, anyway, Buck, thank you very much. These are the best rods we've used. Right. Now, Nicky, if anybody wants to know how to get a hold of it, now these are graphite rods. Also. Well, Walmart has them now. I don't know if they have this brand, but uh, if they want to get these Bucks graphite rods, they weigh about two ounces. Uh huh. Just and call uh, the station. Call the get... station. We'll give them that address. Great. Well, I think they have an 800 number. Yeah, they do. And we don't have it with us, but they can give us a call. And we'll be happy to get them in touch with us. Right. A lipper. A lipper? Yeah. Be careful, Nicky. Got him? Yeah. Let me see him. Turn him around here. Good fish, Nick. Caught him on that B&M rod? B&M. Tell Buck thank you. <laughs> That's a man. All right, Nick. You on, you on the scoreboard now? Yeah. I just switched to my, my green jig. Uh-huh. And I was down there deep, too. You were? That was a nice fish, First isn't it? throw. You hit it right away, Nicky. You pecked at it. You did? Yeah. That was a good fish, yeah. Yeah. And you're a good fisherman. And we have a good guide with us. Good guide. We got the best guide, the best fishing equipment, the best boat. Best weather. Best weather. Best place to fish. 
best place to fish. Now where are we fishing this one? Henderson. By these willow trees, don't ask me why. <laughs> what, right by that tree right there, I dare you. What was he doing down there? Boy, I tell you what, Joe, you got something there, huh? Nice walking. Oh, I'm, right? I'm gonna let you grab this one for me if you don't mind. Oh, I really don't mind at all. I've lost three like this, you know? Whatever. Oh, wait, man. I'm gonna pull them, so. Oh, what you got? Give me some. Uh, you Give me to push him in. Pull him up a little bit here. Let me see him there. Not a giant. All right, let me see him there. Hold him up, let me see him. Get his hook out. I could have lifted him. He could have got a rod off of it. Hold him there. Let me see him. Wait, hold on a sec. I can't find him. There he is. That's a good fish, huh? Nice fish. Not a giant, but he can be a big size. You know what you do to grab him when you get up on the side of the boat? Hmm. Got another one, Joe? I mean, yeah, I got him, but he got me. I'm not sure. Look at that. Wait, where is he? Well, he's trying to take off, huh? Want to get to the light pole? Uh -huh. Wait, it's too black and boy. They are too quiet. Hmm. Like that, Let me see him next. <laughs> Wait a minute, Nancy. Let me see that. Alright. <laughs> 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 uh, don't worry. I'll see you do that. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Well, once again, we want to thank Buck. I remember what I was saying, Byron. You know what it is? It's not. Whether you, you catch kill something or catch something, no. Remember, if you catch something or kill something, that's just a bonus. Oh, okay. You remember? No. Well, <laughs> I remember. Can you see me? No. Oh. You want to watch how we work these stalks up? Quick. Quick. And wait a second. Quick. And then all cut it go. Okay, it's dog neck. Oh, that's a fun photo. Let me see this photo. Oh, I'd rather watch the dog go down than anything. Oh, I just saw a fish more. Yeah, enjoy. Little one, Byron. Little one, Byron. Uh-huh. Little one, Byron. 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 How about a foot and a little bit? It ain't deep. Yeah, how deep, huh? I just saw one fall by my bed. I'm telling you, that's shallow, man. Boy, listen, huh? Hold it, Nick. 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 Hold Good fish, Jesse. <laughs> Boy, he's a good one, I guess. He's alright. You want to grab him? No, he's a good one. Oh, he's nice enough. Yeah, he's a keeper. Look, he's been hooked before. Yeah. Look, the hole in his lip right That's there. That's the one Nicky hooked before. Yeah, see? Oh, uh -huh. dang. That's the one Nicky, we got room in that ice chest anymore? We're fine. Look at that ice chest. Yeah, that's pretty, huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see him now. 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 Uh, go over, go, over, go over the top? Yeah, go down. Go down. Listen, down, down. do y'all always get caught up like that in the trees? Go high. Mm. Push down. Then go down. How do you do it? What tree? Listen, explain about that cork. What cork? This one? Yeah. <laughs> You can make it go up and down, right? Yeah, listen to the noise. Well, there's no fans in it. All right, just listen. All right. All right. Okay. Now, so in other words, when you get hung up, you can go, slip right on down and unhook it. You just push the rod tip down to the end of the jig. It's a done deal. 
Okay, bud, you ready to catch your dog? Yeah, bud. Oh, lady, man. Get up. You better let him, Nathan. Come here, come here. Come on here. <laughs> Talk to him, Nathan. He's handy. I'm either going to catch him or let him go. Oh. Uh, Let's see, hold him up, Nathan. That's a good fish. Nice fish. Oh, he nice got on fish. it right away, isn't he? He sure did. I'm telling y'all my... That's a nice one, huh? He hit it three times. He did? Yeah. He's checking at it? Checking at it. Tell you what, Barn. Huh? Don't get any better than this. It doesn't, huh? No. Nope, not at all. But well, you're picking up a little bit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm starting to hit. Time's right. Is it happening? Just, just like the other day. That's right. A little bit better uh, later on. Yeah. Mid middle of the day. Barn. Huh? Start catching some fish now. All right. Three in a row. <laughs> Did you? You caught three in a row? Uh-huh. Well, you hot, huh? Oh, wait, let's see if we can get Dickie, it. you good, yeah. I know it. I'm a champ. I'm a champ. I know it. I know it. There you go. There you go. Uh-oh. Too hot. Boy, you hot, Nicky. Too hot. Huh? Too hot. Too hot. hot. Four in a row? Four in a row. We'll let it go back again. All right. He's going for the record. If we get this next one, yeah. we'll have it. That'll be the record. Four in a row, huh, Nick? That's true. No, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. All right, let's see what you got now. Right there, one little hole? Why don't you tie a string, why don't you tie a, a flag on that hole, Nick? It's a, if anybody comes fishing in Henderson, they'll know where to fish. You know what you do that. Tie a flag to it? Can't catch it? Let them go on. They were little. They think they're close, though. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Up, Joy. Where is he? Good fish, Nick. He got off? Got off. Not in half. He didn't half him? No. Oh, nice fish you're making. Huh, Joy? Thank you, man. We just called about, what, six feet? Tell you what, they're short. What they? Short, man. That's about five big fish you want. That's short. Oh, you want to put a flag by that, by that five or six feet, Nick? Come on, you want me to grab him? Is that big? Where is he, Bob? Right here, man. Bob, slide him over here. I'll grab him for you. No, I ain't got that big. He's not? Uh-uh. He's a nice one. Good one, Bob. Huh? No. Way you to go, Bob. Shit is hot. Yeah. He called it. He did, huh? He called it. Hey, Joe, you got a nice one, huh? Yeah, good. Bob, Nicky might be Nicky to grab him for him if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, I'll come in with that. Good, let me see in there. Wait, Nick. That's a good one. Oh, grabbing it? Yeah. He didn't come off. He came off again, Nick. He came off again. Nick, let me see your hook. Yeah, they gotta be your hook. Alright. You got that, Bob? I got you a sack leg. Exactly in the head. Bring him here, I'll grab him for you. Nice shoot, huh? Good pin. That's how you hold him, Bob. That's how you gotta hold him, right there. <laughs> you hold him like you swim. I got you, Bob. Not upside down? No. Okay. This is a good one, huh? Yep. Come on, you gonna grab this fish for me? Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, he's a good one. This guy is a good one, huh, Joy? He's a nice one, bro. 
Can you drive your line of water? Can I get it? I never move my foot. You gonna pick him up or you gonna get him? I really thought you could do it. Sure, sure. Huh? Yeah. And the top here. You got fish on it. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, what's the lemon on faculty? 500 a person. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. 50. 50? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is you can't fish anymore. Oh no, I don't have fish. You sure? I'm positive. Count on the two, Nicky. That's it. You see him? Yeah. 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 Can't see your bait sticking out, just the line. Uh -huh. You can lift them in. That's it, huh? Yep. That's a good fish, Nicky. You swallowed it. Yeah. 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 I think you get the rod off. That's a good fish, Nick. Let me see that one. That's a good one, man. Huh. You got him? Yeah. You got a monster. Yeah. It's a good one, though. Nice fish. Nice fish. Alright. What you got there, Bob? Oh, I got a nice one right here. Look, Joey's got a nice oh, one, too. No, no, no. I got a little friend here. Nicky, I'm telling you what. Every tree you throw by, we just caught, what, five at this tree right here? Mm-hmm. Nice actually. They're not that's not monsters, but they're good eating, you know? Great. Enjoy. Perfect. Well that's a nice one. Where is it? That's a good factor there, brother. That's a good one, man. Eh? Uh-huh. Cheeky chicken. Cheeky chicken? Yeah, cheeky chicken. Let me see, hold him hold him by the string right there. Boy, oh, I tell you what, that's pretty, huh? That's a big one. That's a nice cheeky thing. How about the box, Nick? You got it. Look at that box is just about full, buddy. You gonna close this week, Joe? Joey can close. Joey? Well, we hope everybody enjoyed the soup burn. Well, we caught some fish today. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. Hope everybody enjoys seeing it. Until next week, everybody get out and check the tackle and hit us. We hope everyone has enjoyed this week's edition of the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Remember, whether you're on the water or in the woods, the role you play as a sportsman is how others see you. We hope everyone's next outdoor adventure is a good one. And don't forget, if you kill or catch something, that's a bonus. Until next week, I'm David McKinnon for Byron Briggs and the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Keep on camping, and we'll see you in the woods. Welcome to the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Stay tuned as the Acadiana Outdoor team keeps you up to date in the outdoor world. From hunting the flooded timber for mileage in North Louisiana to fishing for bull eggs in the Gulf of Mexico. Don't touch that remote, buckle your seatbelt, and settle in for some true southern outdoor adventure right here in Louisiana. This morning with Joey Kovac and we're going to try and catch some sackley this morning and uh, of course the fish is starting to bite pretty good and uh, we have an overcast morning this morning. We're going to be fishing with the jigs and in just a few minutes I'm going to show you the jigs while we're riding in the truck this morning and I uh, hope to catch some fish this morning, huh Joey? I hope so, Bob. I've got you making them. I'm going to try and show our viewers this little jig. They are little. They are little. They do catch. They catch. The good thing about those, Byron, is they catch uh, the rim with the size of the hook you have on there. You get to catch the brim and the sack leg. Uh, you catch uh, a bigger sack leg. A big sack leg will hit that bait. Just as good as you a bigger bait or better, but you can still catch a big bull brim with that. Whereas if you're fishing with another jig with a uh, big hook, you can't catch the brim, you just catch the sack leg.
made it, Joy. Oh, yeah. We here, Byron. All right. Boy, it's, it's muddy, huh? Sloppy, huh? Got your hand. Uh, we made it. We made it out here. We're getting out. Uh, water water's high. Give me a chance to get my line ready. Where is it, Byron? Oh, it's a little brown. Okay, well that's not bad for a start. No. Let's see if we can get something a little bit bigger. Yeah, we're gonna let that one go. Pretty little bait, huh, Byron? Oh, I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Let's try it right here, huh? You know how to feel these cypress trees? You never know about them. Just down there around the cypress trees, you kind of take them out together. We'll try both. Yeah. Until we find them, you know? Something else about this place, man. I'm not kidding. You can go through a flat and think you're fishing, all that thing looks the same. Right. And, but it's just like they're in certain places and other places they're not, you know? Yeah. I fished this same place the other day, Byron. Oh, really? And, uh. How'd you do, Joey? Well, I got here late in the afternoon. I caught only, I kept about 15, but they're real pretty sackily. Uh huh. And, uh. But I was fishing through this and it all looked, all this flat looks the same. But before you know it, I quit catching fish. Oh, I see. And uh, so I went about an hour and a half without catching any. I said, well, let me just go back where I caught those fish. You know, the fish bite, you know, I got out some fish. And uh, sure enough, as soon as I came back, I started catching fish again. 
Boy, it's pretty fishing out here, isn't it? Catching a big spackle right by that side of the tree. Ain't that a pretty spot? We tried four or five of the side of the tree. Uh huh. Let's just talk to you. All right, let's do it. Oh, Joey, look, that's a good fish there, boy. Thank you. Yeah. That's a nice fish, there, Joey. Yeah, Mr. Green. Mr. Green? You just come around here and drop it. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. The one, they have been running a little bit nice uh -huh. on this, but that's a good few inside tackling, Brian. Boy, yeah. Like the old saying, there's no flies on that one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a good fish. We'll take them like that. We get us about three dozen like that, we have a good mess of fish. I'm telling you. Good. He hit that little jig, didn't he? That little bitty old jig. I tried that last night, Brian. Let me, uh, let me get the zoom in on you, the one you got there. See that black? Yeah. It's got the black with the green and red eye, uh -huh. a little bit of silver tinsel. And yeah, I got that good. little small hook, Brian. But as uh, you can see, yeah. that little small hook won't keep them nice sackly from hitting. Yeah. And you can catch the brim, too. We've already caught three or four brim about right. the size of a pocket watch. But that little brim, you can get you can get the brim and the sackly, yeah. you see? That's the key. Great. That's, that's the brim. I'm with it back here, Joy. If you can handle it. Don't lose it. Where is it? Uh -huh. what? You need the gas? You talking about need the gas on this one? <laughs> I told you they were pretty. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about, man. Huh? What's that right there, Joe? That's what we want. Right there. Big one. Look like a flounder. It's like a halibut. All right, Mr. Briggs. What do you like that, Joe? Now that's what I call a sackle, boy. That's a nice sackle, isn't it? Joey, a little jig. He does the trick. It's unbelievable. That's a nice fact. Good fish, Brian. You ready to get another one? I'm ready to get one more. Joy, you talking about pulling. What you got, Brian? Huh? What you got? I tell you what, that there jig is unbelievable. <laughs> that's unbelievable. You got a sack on it? Looks like a sack. No, it's a big old brim. Cool. I mean a big brim. What you call a big brim? What you call a Look at that, Joy. Is that a brim or a chinka pin, bro? It's a big chinka pin, but that, that little jig will catch. Well, that's the key to that jig is that he catches the brim and the chinka pin and you know, the tackling. You know, most jigs you get, you just catch uh, the, either tackle and very few catch brim. The hook is too big, bro. The hook is too big, but that little hook, I mean, it's fantastic on those, on those uh, big tackle too. I know it. That's a nice brim in it. Good brim. Let's put him in the box. All right. Oh. I just like to see that up here. Yeah, we hadn't caught a tackle around a cypress tree, but the funny thing about our fixing to tell you, I had a buddy of mine come the other day, and he was fishing across that canal over there. Uh-huh. I didn't catch a fish around a cypress tree, and he's fishing over there about 300 yards, did not catch a fish around a wheel at all. He has come off a cypress tree. Just going to show you how this lake can be. Yeah. Right? So you got to try them all. But we've caught all our fish around wheel trees. So yeah. I think when the water gets a little bit lower, it'll always be better around the cypress tree. Mm-hmm. The water starts falling and gets a little bit lower. Early, I catch them on the willows, and as the water falls, I catch them on the side. Joey, yeah. that's your brother Skip over there, isn't it? That's Skip. Uh, Skip is after the old bass. He is? Yeah. I'm gonna put you on unless we cut unless Joey decides to cut you out when he edits it. <laughs> you like the other one, Brian. But yeah, that's a good sack, Leo. I think that's a good sack, Leo, Joey. I don't think I'll see the flowers on it. No. Yeah, that's a good sack, Leo. I thought it might be that one I just lost, but his lips not torn. No, I just lost the fish right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish. Good feel inside sack, Leo, Brian. I'm going to drop him in the chest. <laughs> well, he's not a monster, Joey, but he's, a, he's another keeper. I think so, bud. Huh? I think so. 
Good fish. Good fish, huh? Yeah. Drop them in that box. You want to put that one in the box, too? I think so. Well, I you want to make that much room left. <laughs> I hope we're buying. You got another one? Uh, I got another uh, brim, Joey. A brim. That's one of those... Uh, Nice bull brown, Henderson bull brown. Now, Brian, I'm just going to show you that jig, how to catch a big fish or small. It's true. Yeah. Of course, if our viewers are just turning in right now, we're fishing here in the flats of Henderson, fishing with some little homemade jigs that you made. Yeah. And uh, Henderson bull brown, having a good time. Having a real good time. Let's bring him up, see what we got, Joey. Oh, you got about a nice brim. Big brim? Yeah, it's a big brim. Yeah, it's a good one. 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 Yeah, it's Tell you what, that is a nice brim in it. I like that. Mm -hmm. But he's a fish, huh? Yes. Yeah. You got a fish? Yeah. He's yeah. caught like I don't know what. Is that right? Hey, boy. Yeah. Come to pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice fish, isn't yeah. He's not a monster barn, but uh, the thing's been kind of slow here for the last hour. Son, look at this. Look at the, view, the viewers might not believe this is the same day that we were <laughs> on a while ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was raining a while ago and cloudy. Now the sun's coming up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
got everything right here in the boat. I'm cleaning them right here. So. Too bad we don't have the pot with the grease. Yeah, but next time we're going to bring the pot in the boat and cook them right here. I'm all, I'll tell you what. You for that? I'm for that. The ram? You know what we're going to do, will you? Boy, he's pulling, isn't he? He is just pulling the stuff. He is pulling. That is some kind of pulling. Look at the size of that brim. Bring him over here, Joe. Let me get there. Boy, that's a big brim, isn't it? Huh? Another big old brim? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why he's that last one, but man. Yeah, that's a good fish, yeah. Good fish. Nothing wrong with him, huh? No, uh-uh. That's a nice one. Yeah. So put him in that pot too. I he had a spot right there. Is that's the best spot we hit all day, huh, brother? That's it. Yeah. And you did. We did. You did. You, you, you loaded up right there, didn't you? Get one spot, man. One spot. It's like a miracle. He's digging. You don't like it, man. What is the something, huh? There it is. Can you see her? Boy, that is a big brim, huh, Joey? Hoist that truck in here, Byron. Okay, hey, but you almost need... Uh, look at that. I can spin it. I, I got a big hand. I, I can't see. Yeah. I got, a, I got a big hand. I can barely get my hand around it. That is a big brim. I'm going to weigh it. All right. You know, a lot of people say they go catch brim and they weigh a pound. Uh -huh. This one probably don't weigh a pound. And that's about as big as they get. You got a scale? Let me see if you weigh it. That brim weighs 11 ounces. Do you think a brim that weighs a pound is not a big brim? That is a big brim right there, I'm going to tell you. 11 ounces? Yeah. 10 or 11 ounces. A big brim. Look at that. There's so many boats here today, and, and it's remarkable that we still have a place to fish, and we haven't been bothered by that many boats, right, Joey. Right, we have not actually fished. We got this flat where we fished, and she went on the boat and skipped my brother. Right. And, uh, that's the only ever cold in here. Yeah. We're fortunate today. Talk it's about. about. It's a Saturday. It's a beautiful day, and, uh, we've got three major tournaments in here tomorrow. Everybody's shouting for the tournament. That's the thing about Henderson, there's always a place to go, you know? Yeah. Uh, we've, been, we've been lucky today. Real lucky. Plus some nice fish. I mean, those brown that we caught today were just... They're good quality of fish. Great that's, exercise. That's right. Really good, good quality of fish. Joe, you got one there, huh? Another good brim. Huh? The huh? brim? Another good brim. Well, that's a nice brim, huh? That is just a nice brim, bud. That's what you call a hand-sized brim. Good hand-sized brim. And, uh, we just love that little jig. Yeah. I tell you what, you can't buy that jig anyway, can you? Them jigs carry a pretty heavy price, bud. They do? They do. And those, are, those jigs are handmade. Yeah, yeah. You got a nice fish, huh, Brian? That's a good black sackway, Brian. That's a good black sackway. Good fish, Mr. Blaze. How you like that? Nice fish, huh? Well, that's pretty, Brian. That that's is what pretty. it's about right there. That's what it's all about. You know, Joey, we have enough fish for a fish fry. Brian, I think we got enough to keep this fry. <laughs> Uh -huh. I believe so. But that's a nice one. Short. Great. Let's get one more and then we gotta go. All right, bud. We got a nice big bull bull. Well, I say they were son of a gun kid. Huh? Talk about, huh? Man. Yeah, that is a big... Hold it right there a second. That is a big bull brown right there. That's a Henderson bull brown. That's a Henderson bull brown. And you know, Brian, I know people see us fishing around home and all. You just don't see them kind of big, a whole lot of them big brim. No. You know? 
That's pretty. That's a beautiful fish. It really is. Well, good. How I many are we going to catch? Man, we've been closing the show for about two hours now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see Skipper. Looks like he's coming over. He's going to be heading on in. You almost ready? I'm ready when you are. All right. Hard to leave him biting now. That's true. Yeah, it is. Well, I tell you what, I got two little nieces at home now. Uh-huh. Yeah, I promised I was going to go to advance. What's their name? Elizabeth and Catherine LeBlanc. Uh-huh. And of course, OJ, my little nephew. Yeah. That's uh, my sister Marie's kids and my brother-in-law Buster LeBlanc. And uh, they got a dance with you tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they gonna they gonna be upset. Well, tonight. we better go on to that. Huh? We better go on and and uh, do it. I want you to go ahead and close this week's show. I know uh, well, I why? enjoyed the fishing trip. Oh, I enjoyed it a lot. You know, it's been a good day. We've caught a lot of fish. And, uh, as a matter of fact, you've already got them clean. I know. Except for this one. Right. I'll but, clean them. Uh, We've had a good day. You know, we got out here with overcast, and we thought we were going to really mop up. Then it cleared off and it slowed down, but we stuck with it. Uh, caught, a, caught enough fish to make a good mess. Yeah. And we were lucky in that. I mean, you can look around. We probably got a thousand boats out here today, and we ain't had a boat around at all. No. Except for Skip. Uh, talking to Skip every now and then. But uh, we've been lucky, man. It's been a nice day. Great. I've enjoyed it, as always. Till next week, everybody. Y'all, uh... Check in with us next week. Hopefully, we'll have another good fishing show for us. Thank you, Joey. Enjoy yeah, it. All right, I enjoyed it. All right. All right. Yes, Skip. <laughs> we hope everyone has enjoyed this week's edition of the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Remember, whether you're on the water or in the woods, the role you play as a sportsman is how others see you. We hope everyone's next outdoor adventure is a good one. And don't forget, if you kill or catch something, that's a bonus. Until next week, I'm David McKinnon for Byron Briggs and the Acadiana Outdoor Show. Keep on camping, and we'll see you in the woods.